Well, maybe now you're ready to hear some more N1 Carrier. Yeah, baby! <laughs> I know I am. This was recorded from a strange time, 1981. The N1 Carrier here is just as wonderful as it always was, but some of the ringtones and recordings are clearly from the early 80s, not the way it used to be. First, let's call something that is the same as it was in the 1970s. This is a number two ESS. The exchange is listed as Piermont. Here's a supervision test. On this particular trunk, you can actually hear the 3700 hertz tone. It's out of band, but the filter isn't completely eliminating it. I can digitally emphasize it here. And now let's run the tape back. See, the tone really does stop every time it goes off hook. Of course, it's on hook now, so we have the tone. Let me put things back to normal. And the tone is audible here too, just not so loud. These calls are all made from a crossbar 5 in Mamaroneck in southeastern Westchester County. The tandem we're using is not White Plains, but Nyack. The trunks from Mamaroneck to Nyack are N1 carrier. It's a small high usage group containing two trunks. Each of the two trunks sounds distinctively different. Here is that same number two ESS supervision test going through the other trunk, and I'm sure you'll appreciate the difference. This trunk allows you to hear the out pulsing, so MF or dial pulse is audible. The trunk overall is a lot louder, and this trunk has a tone applier. The Nyack crossbar tandem actually adds a tone every time the trunk goes off hook, starting from the second time on any given call. Tone appliers were created because busy signals used to flash answer supervision, they wanted to make sure that with all that supervision stuff going on, the caller would still hear something that sounded like a busy signal. Now the Nyack tone applier doesn't quite sound right. Variations in the timbre and volume of the tone are not supposed to be there. And when I first heard it, I was wondering, do they have two tone appliers operating? But no. It's something about the tone source in the Nyack building. This was revealed when the Nyack crossbar tandem failed and put us into its own reorder trunk. And you can tell from the Nyack reorder that something's not right with that tone plant. A reorder tone like that, 
begins with continuous low tone, the same as an old-fashioned dial tone, like this. That is put through an interrupter that turns it off and on at 120 interruptions per minute. The problem for that Nyack crossbar tandem reorder tone is that the low tone being supplied is changing levels constantly. In fact, it has three different levels. Sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's like this, and other times it's like that, and it keeps changing between those three levels in a way that is non-synchronous with the reorder interrupter that is supposed to be making a simple reorder tone. That's what produces this. Why, I don't know, except that maybe there are some interrupters in the building that are literally shorting out the low tone supply instead of doing their job. I recorded a few calls to the Nyack Crossbar 5. I'm going to see if I can find more clues. In the meantime, here's a more pristine reorder from a number 2 ESS serving Spring Valley. Nyack, whose recording ID is 9146, has an all-bell sector. Everything is New York Telephone. It includes all of Rockland County and a small part of Orange County, basically the area between Rockland and the independents like Warwick. It's mostly number 5 crossbar, but there are some small steps, and two codes are served by number 2 ESS. Centralized intercept is handled by a concentrator in Nyack that has Nyack's crossbar 5 type ring but it gets its operators, and I think the recording, from an intercept concentrator in Yonkers, which has city ring. Here, on an operator intercept number, in the Piermont number 2 ESS, we hear Piermont's own modern ringtone, followed by the Nyack ring, and then an operator answers. Uh, five seven eight three five four two. Five seven eight three five four two is not a working number. Testing operators, this the Yonkers office I've just reached. Yes, it is, sir. You're reaching Yonkers intercept. Thank you. Yeah, well. Well, that sound coming through the N1 carrier is actually the T carrier trunk from the Nyack concentrator down to the Yonkers operators. So far, everything we've heard could have happened in the late 1970s, but this next call has something that is clearly from the early 80s, at least as far as New York is concerned. The Yonkers intercept recording in the 70s sounded like this. I'm sorry, the number you have reached is not in service or temporarily disconnected. The number you have reached is not in service at this time. This is a recording. Here now is a machine intercept number in the Piermont number 2 ESS in 1981. See if the voice on the announcement sounds familiar.
sorry, we have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number or try your call again. Debbie calling. 578-9902. 578-9902. Oh, really? Not a working num... Click goodbye. Must be in a hurry. This time you can hear the fuzz of the tea carrier down to Yonkers, but it's not quite so ugly. That time after the recording, we heard the Yonkers city ring. In fact, the only city ring we'll hear in this program is from Yonkers Intercept because there are no city ring offices in the entire Nyack sector. On another similar call, we hear briefly the Nyack ring interrupted by the Yonkers ring. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number or try your call again. You're calling five seven eight uh four five six three. Five seven eight four five six three is not a working number. Thank you. Right. Well that is definitely early seventies or late sixties tea carrier we're hearing down there. So does the voice on that recording sound troublingly familiar? I'm sorry, we have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number or try your call again. That's how it was for me when I recorded the tape. This doesn't sound right, but I know it, but I don't know it. What, what, what is that? It wasn't until I reviewed the tape much later that I placed the voice. At the tone, the time will be 12, 2, and 10 seconds. At the tone, the time will be 12, 2, and 20 seconds. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number or try your call again. It only takes a little while to look it up before you dial. It's a little hard to recognize with the flutter and the distortion because this is coming off a master tape apparently supplied by Autocron to New York Telephone. Unlike the actual Autocron announcement machines that were delivering this voice in the other places where I've seen it. But this is that mystery Autocron announcer, probably related to Jane Barbie, who I've been calling Not Jane. That's why it was bothering me. It didn't sound right, but it did. Now, as to the problems with the tone plant in Nyack, here is the Nyack ring from two calls ago. Listen carefully to the pitch of the ring. The pitch is lowering at 60 lowerings per minute. It's subtle, but it's there. Now, if there is a busy signal interrupter in that building that is shorting the low tone output such that the volume drops at regular intervals, that could be drawing enough current to slow the motor down a little bit. That would explain why it's going. Anyway, number two ESS makes different clicks from number one ESS at least when you call working numbers and numbers on intercept or numbers that are forwarded. Here are two working numbers in the Spring Valley 425 number 2 ESS.
Hello? You have reached the New York Telephone Company. The business office is closed. The office is open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, except holidays. If you are calling to establish new service or move your service, you may visit our phone center store located at the Nanuet Mall on the second floor. The hours are 10 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 12 to 5 p.m. on Sunday. If your telephone is out of order, please consult the front pages of your directory for our repair service. For all other emergencies, call 390-5600, our customer service bureau. Thank you. When the trunks to the Nyack crossbar tandem are busy, Mamaronek uses White Plains Tandem 1. White Plains is just up the road from Mamaronek, so we have wire trunks, and being a 914 specialist, White Plains does have at least some direct trunks to everything in Rockland County, many of which are T-carrier, as in the following call to the 578 number 2 ESS called at a time when our Nyack trunks are busy. <laughs> There are some crossbar fives that have pseudo-modern tones. One of them is in Haverstraw. Here's a ringing number. The trunk from Nyack out to Haverstraw is second-generation T-carrier, and I'll tell you how I know that at the end of the call. Okay, here's how the tea carrier gave itself away. Let me play that again. That little whistle. For some reason, a lot of the tea carrier that was installed around 1972 tended to have that sound recurring at sort of irregular intervals. You'd be talking to somebody or listening to something, and I remember Bruce from Yonkers of 790 Story fame used to comment on it, too. This is the first time it's come up in a narrated program, so I wanted to say something. Here's the busy signal in the Haverstraw Crossbar 5, modern tone frequencies, but there's an added power supply whine.
Here's a supervision test there. Before I met Bill I used to wonder why every time I called one of these test lines in Suffolk County, there would be that busy signal type tone at the beginning of the test. It was because Suffolk County was sent through a tandem that had a tone applier. In program 6 of this series we passed through the Nyack sector using a small step in Slotesburg. From Slotesburg we called an office code 346 listed as Slotesburg, but clearly it was a number five crossbar from some neighboring central office. 346 had a ring like this. This ringtone is kind of toneless, which is why by the early 80s they had to change it. Because the service observing equipment couldn't register it. I'm going to reset the trunk and redial a working number, and you'll hear this same ring supply going down a long phone line. Well, it is now 1981, and 346 no longer has that ring, unfortunately. It has pseudo-modern ring. Here's a supervision test in 346. With this one, you can actually hear some of the relay sounds as the test is operating. Well, now that the ring for 346 is pseudo-modern, it's kind of hard to distinguish it from others. But the best candidate for where that's really coming from is Suffern, whose code in the Suffern zone is 357. Here's a Suffern ring, probably the same office as 346, and in any case, there's a very obvious second N1 carrier trunk going from Nyack to Suffern. <laughs> Here's one more. Stony Point is the community served. At the end of the recording, you can hear the Nyack ring briefly, followed by the Anchors ring. Sorry, we have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you 
ABC and you have reached this recording in error, please check the number or try your call again. I'm not sure what happened there, although it did happen several times this night. Perhaps there's a loud noise that we don't hear that the operator does. Another possibility is that they know the calls are backed up. It is late at night and they're just getting flustered and hurrying on, not thinking. Crossbar 5, with crossbar 5 type ring, is the default for this area. The Nyack building is an example. This is a number on machine intercept which, until the recording answers, features the Nyack ring, but on this call there doesn't seem to be a pitch variation. There are, however, hints of problems because between rings you hear ring tone in various levels and even low tone at certain points. <laughs> When I called a permanent busy in one of the NIAC codes, it sounded completely normal. However, calling a busy signal in one of the codes listed as New City did indicate a problem with the tone plant. New City is close enough to NIAC that it might be served out of the same CO, I don't know. But anyway, here's the busy signal in a New City code. Here's machine intercept in the crossbar 5 serving the community of Nanuet. Recording an error, please check. 
check the number or try your call again. What name calling, please? 6239951. 6239951 In Piermont, there is a number 2 ESS, which we called earlier, but there's another office code, 359, which is a small crossbar 5 with only one office code. For this reason, you can hear the MFs are only four digits instead of the usual 5. The Piermont ring has a subtle busy signal in between rings. Spring Valley has a number 2 ESS on the 425 code, which we called earlier, but the other three office codes, 352, 4, and 6, are served by a crossbar 5. call, Nyack gets a 2600 controlled N2 or N3 carrier trunk to the Spring Valley Crossbar 5. On this call you can hear a 2600 burst as the flash handshake is occurring. In addition to the tone applier, you can hear bursts of 2600 every time the supervision test goes on hook. In the early 1980s, we began to see number 5 crossbar type ringing machines modified by the Bell system. They were using a retrofit kit from Lorraine Products. The result was something that sounded like a cheap imitation. Fortunately, in 1981, none of the offices in the NIAC sector that had crossbar 5 type ring had yet been modified. That did begin to happen, though, as the 80s progressed. Let's listen briefly to two more. This first one is the crossbar 5 serving Pearl River, the beginning of a machine intercept call.
And here's the same thing in Pomona, a tributary that was omitted from the traffic routing guide for some reason, but it's very much a part of the sector. 362 is the code I dial here. And now let's get to the small steps. There are four of them in this sector. The first one I'll call is Slotesburg. We've been there. It used to have CDO ring. It's not going to have that ring now. Well, let's see what it has. Well, this time, we've been left high and dry. Could be an open sleeve, or a bad trunk, or a bad connector switch. Let's try again. We seem to have gotten the same trunk, and the trunk is probably the trouble. Let's try again. Uh, nope. That just went off hook. I think I'm going to call back during the daytime. These calls were in the evening, and it seems like we're getting bad trunks. So let's go to the next office, Congers. But let's do that in the next program, because this one is getting kind of long, and though I have tried cutting out some of that Crossbar 5 material, I mean, how interesting is that? Well, you know, it turns out it's pretty interesting, what with all the variety of what's on the other end of the N1 carrier and the color commentary, and I never thought I would discuss the nuances of hearing T-Carrier via N1 carrier, but it kind of worked out. Okay, that is ugly. But anyway, in the next program, we'll call the small step-by-step -step offices in the NIAC sector. But I should warn you, the ringtones sound like something out of the independent world. Because, yes, the Lorraine products retrofit kits have been used on the steps in this area.